There are few, if any, goalkeepers who have had such a strong influence on the beautiful game as Lev Yashin. The Soviet shot-stopper was a man years ahead of his time, making saves that defied belief, and adopted the role of sweeper-keeper years before it was popularised. He is regarded by many as the greatest goalkeeper of all time. This is a story of Lev Yashin, the Black Spider. Lev Yashin was born on the 22nd November 1929, in Moscow, part of a family of industrial workers. At the age of 12, he began working in a factory during the Second World War. He continued to do this until he was 18. Yashin was excelling at both football and ice hockey, but the laborious nature of his work was wearing him down. He quit the factory at 18, after suffering a nervous breakdown, with the job taking its toll on him. One of Yashin's friends at the factory suggested he took up military service, so that he would find it easier to combine work and sport. This indeed turned out to be true, and soon led to his ideal career. Yashin would turn out for the factory team, and was soon spotted by a scout from Dynamo Moscow. He would go on to join Dynamo's youth academy. He would join the senior team in 1950, but it took some time to truly break into the setup. He failed to impress in a few games he did play, and it seemed as though the club's number one Alexei Komik would be unbudged in goal. During this period, Yashin continued playing as a goalkeeper in ice hockey too, winning a USSR Cup with Dynamo's ice hockey team in 1953. He seriously considered leaving football to go full-time with ice hockey, but later that year, Yashin had his chance. Komik suffered an injury, and as a result, Yashin would take his place in goal and he never looked back. Yashin dazzled spectators with his style of play. At a time when goalkeepers would remain on the line for 90 minutes, Yashin would often take matters into his own hands. Hands that were dressed in gloves, with Yashin being one of the first goalkeepers to do this. His athleticism allowed him a commanding presence over his box, as he would constantly claim crosses and rush out to meet oncoming attackers. He would constantly leap to make acrobatic saves, the likes of which had never been seen before, and he would quickly throw the ball out to start counter-attacks. He had a strong influence over his defence, constantly shouting at them in order to ensure they didn't let the ball into his net. When asked what his secret was, Yashin pointed to a smoke to calm his nerves and a strong drink to tone his muscles. Yashin became iconic, with his all-black kit earning him the nickname The Black Spider, and he was often seen sporting a worker's cap in goal, seen by many as a nod to his working-class roots. Yashin helped Dynamo to glory, with them winning five Soviet leagues and three Soviet cups with him in goal. He was called up to the international stage for the first time in 1954, and made a strong impression there too. He won his first international honour in 1956, when the Soviets won gold at the Olympics and two years later, he was put on the map at the World Cup in Sweden. He impressed as they reached the quarter-finals, and although they lost this game 2-0 to Brazil, without Yashin's heroics, it would have been a rout. Yashin appeared on the international stage again in 1960, for the first ever European Championships, and he added to his trophy cabinet, with the Soviets defeating Yugoslavia 2-1 in the final. Whilst Yashin's form somewhat declined over the next few years, he got it back, as Dynamo reclaimed the league title in 1963, and this led to him becoming one of a kind. In 1963, Lev Yashin was awarded the Ballon d'Or. To date, this remains the only time in history that a goalkeeper has won the award. He also that year played a part in an England vs the rest of the world game, making a series of great saves in his 45-minute appearance a game that Yashin later said prolonged his career. Yashin appeared at the World Cup again in 1966, and although he missed the first two matches of injury, he played a key part upon his return, as the Soviet Union reached the semi-finals and finished fourth, their best ever World Cup finish. After this, his career started to wind down, although he would travel to the 1970 World Cup as his nation's third choice. Later that year, he would retire from playing, having spent his entire 20-year career at Dynamo Moscow, making 326 appearances and winning a total of nine major honours across his club and international career. He is estimated to have saved over 150 penalties across his career, 
To put into context, the goalkeeper with the most penalty saves in the 21st century is Samir Handanovic, with 38. A year after his retirement, a testimonial was played in Moscow for Yashin, with over 100,000 people turning up to see him one last time, with the likes of Eusebio, Franz Beckenbauer and Pele taking part. Upon retiring, Yashin remained at Dynamo Moscow, going through various administration roles for the club over another 20 years, bringing his total time at Dynamo Moscow to 40 years. Lev Yashin died on the 20th of March 1990, at the age of 60, following a battle with stomach cancer. Yashin was given a state funeral, honoured as a Soviet master of sport. Yashin's influence on the position of goalkeeper can still be seen today. Footage of him playing in the 50s and 60s resembles that of a modern goalkeeper, dominating their box rather than being glued to their line. He was a man decades ahead of his time, and his innovative style brought him an incredible amount of success, including a Ballon d'Or for a goalkeeper, something we are unlikely to see ever again. He may well be the greatest to ever stand between the sticks, as without the Black Spider, the way in which goalkeepers play could be very different indeed. <laughs>